is Classic FM. Well, I'm delighted to be joined by Benjamin Grosvenor, a double award winner here this afternoon at the Gramophones. And I know that you've had a really busy day as well, and you've performed. First of all, you must be pretty used to collecting accolades like this now. Um, well, not really. I mean, it's, it is such a great honour to get these these two awards from Gramophone. Um, I haven't really received anything really like this before other than the uh, uh, Critics' Choice Award, which was earlier this year, um, which I got at the Barbican Centre after a concert. Um, so it was wonderful, and I, I was a bit nervous about giving the two acceptance speeches. I think the, the better one, the second one went a bit better than the first. I was very very nervous for that, and then switching into playing mode and sitting down and performing is always difficult as well. Well, I was going to ask about that. Did you jinx it at all by thinking, well, I might say this if I do go up there and have to accept it, or did you really focus on the performance? Oh, sorry, what? Well, I was going to say to you, you know, did you think about what you might say because obviously you didn't want to jinx anything and you didn't want to assume, or did you just think, well, what will be will be with the, with the awards, I'll just focus on my performance? Um, I... Well, I, I, I had prepared something to, to say, and I was—I uh, kind of knew what I was what I was going to say, and uh, it was fine. But it was sort of my public speaking debut, I suppose, so uh, a little stressful. You acquitted yourself, sir. Well done. And as for the performance, I mean, that's that's a little bit mean, isn't it? Making you sit through all the nominations and then say, right, now we want you to perform. Was that added pressure because you'd won those awards? Um, not really. Um, there was pressure because I. As you say, I'd been sitting down for a while and I hadn't played the piano for some time. Um, but, you know, Gramophone have kindly given me two awards, so it's uh, the best thing I could do is to be to, to play for them at the end. And you've had a really busy day today. You've come down from Manchester to That's London right. and your piano arrived before you, um, I think, this morning when, when, we, uh, when we first arrived. Okay. How, uh, how important is it that you had a little bit of time just to play the piano? Did you, in fact, uh, get to warm up on it beforehand? Um, I didn't. I mean, I literally just got back from... Manchester. I uh, I was on BBC Breakfast there at, at nine, and uh, uh, I was on the nine fifty five. So I got just here just after midday, um, and then I went to Steinways and warmed up on a piano there, which of course isn't the same instrument. So sitting down at one, which is unfamiliar, is always uh, is always stressful. And on the train, were you playing it in your in your mind or on the table or something? Um, oh, well, not really, because I mean there were two pieces which are quite familiar. Uh, to me, so I was just trying to relax. And, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any sleep because I, I was up very early this morning. I was hoping to, to be able to do that, but uh, um, but I was obviously sufficiently well rested. And you know, you've had a, a phenomenal year. You mentioned you won an award earlier this year, and also I know last year you've been on influential lists. You've been top ten Londoner lists with the Evening Standard. I mean, how are you dealing with this wonderful notoriety? <laughs> um, it doesn't change much really I continue to practice and to be as self-critical as I have always been and uh, just try to improve in every way that I can well many congratulations enjoy the moment enjoy the winning thank you very much thank